We have your energy coming out as the yin to someone's yang. But I feel someone who is thinking about you is still wearing a mask, still calling your bluff or trying to pretend as they are still exaggerating in the situation. Someone thought that they, you would always have love for them. Someone thought that you would always be hypnotized by the thought of them. I feel someone is thinking about you, but I feel someone is thinking about you in a very big way. But they're also sitting in a place where they feel like they won't be able to balance things out to find a sense of peace. But I do feel this is someone who wants to take a risk, especially today. For some reason, someone is very vulnerable in a very toxic or sensitive situation and the love that they thought was irresponsible or the love they thought would never fade or go away is now fading in a way that someone is truly concerned or worried. Someone is concerned that you won't have an open heart, you won't be receptive when it comes to a situation someone is thinking about how you may reject them or the fact that you're going through an awakening. For many of you, this is someone who is thinking about how they could be rejected. Something is a free-for-all, and they are going through an awakening. Hmm. Okay. So it seems someone is going through an awakening where they're chasing a thrill. Hmm. Someone knows that they screwed you over. I feel someone is going through an awakening when it comes to a euphoric change. Someone burned a bridge with you through manipulation and trying to finesse something. But now there's some type of shift, a decline. Hmm. I feel there's a turn of events when it comes to a dismissal, a turn down, something that is attached, fixated. Hmm. Someone is realizing you are the true yin to their yang, but they're still wearing a mask. I feel there's turbulence because of their ego. Someone is sitting in a space of shame because they failed to use their whole heart. Someone failed to do something unconditionally. And now they're feeling the shame and guilt, a guilty conscience. Hmm. I feel this is someone who has a guilty conscience for not doing something unconditionally, giving you the support that you needed. Someone was moving out of arrogance and pride. Someone was giving you something, but not for nothing. <laughs> now someone is stuck in a space where they're asking themselves why. Someone is asking themselves some questions they should have asked themselves long ago. This is someone who is puzzled, confused, unclear about a situation that is causing them to have a more guilty conscience. Turbulence, arguments, tensions is coming their way or they're sitting in the thick of it. I feel this is someone who is going through a shift, a change when it comes to their outlook on life. Something is definitely shifting. Something is shifting when it comes to cycles and differences where things are clashing, there's conflict over time, someone waited too long, there's too much silence, now someone is triggered through wounds, trauma. There's also flashbacks. I feel there is also flashbacks of something that is unsent, unspoken. Someone is lost for words, but it's also bringing them to a sense of animosity. A space where they're kind of resentful. Someone's resentful that there's no fresh, fresh start, a second chance. There's too many troubles ahead. Something shocking may take place, but something's different about this moment. Where someone has seen themselves for who they are. They feel captive, stuck, trapped, because they made something final. Someone's thinking about what they did how they treated you and push something to a breaking point, having no limits. <sighs> now they feel something is somewhat deja vu, repeated patterns. Someone is learning some very heavy karmic lessons. And today of all days is one of the days that's very difficult. Mm. I feel today is a hard day for them. This moment 
is a hard moment for them. Where there's true heartbreak because they feel there's no return when it comes to a connection. Someone is sitting in a space where they're full of shame and regret, but there's a sense of silence. Something is still. There's no words between the two of you. I feel this is someone who sits in a space of regret for being ashamed or hiding a truth. Someone regrets putting you in a space where you have to protect your heart or your stability, your foundation, something that you built, something that you put a lot of hard work into. This is someone who feels they won't be able to find the peace that they seek because they fail to be vulnerable. This is a life changing shift. Wow. Or someone didn't see something coming. Hmm. Let me get one more card here. So, something is very enticing when it comes to this energy, but I feel like this is someone who is still triggered by troubles, upheaval, something that is very shocking that is transforming their life. I feel something is very... <sighs> risky. Someone is thinking about the possibilities, but they also feel like they'll be declined. I feel they're having a lot of flashbacks that's causing them to be triggered. And this is just someone who is going through some very hard times. I feel this is someone who's going through a life-changing shift that has caused them to take the veil from over their eyes. As what is unspoken has now become a burden. Hmm. Silence. Awakening. So it seems through silence someone is going through an awakening. This is unexpected where someone's enticed by something that has caused them to see the truth about life and even you. I feel there's a lot of triggers because someone didn't realize how unhealed they are, but I feel you didn't either. And this caused a big separation. Someone needed to heal without you. I feel this is someone who turned down an offer from you. This could be an olive branch or someone hmm, who just didn't see you for who you were, didn't take something seriously, but now they're looking back on this offer, this situation, and they know they never gave you a fair chance. I feel something is very significant is taking place, something vital, something very important that's causing them to go deep, causing them to go deep into the trauma, the wounds, the dark attachments, the influence, things that cause them to sway their judgment, things that have been a very big impact in their life, as this is someone who has created some obstacles, barriers, and challenges through third parties. Illusions that are now being illuminated to them. I feel someone is getting a sense of clarity, an honest truth, where something vital is being illuminated through dark attachments, obstacles, and illusions. Where someone is reminiscing, but also dwelling. Someone is dwelling on the memories of the both of you. It is also bittersweet. When it comes to a loss, there's a lot of pain, sorrow, and regret. Someone is withdrawn because they feel like they can't find middle ground. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like someone is sitting in a space where they never thought that they would be. Now they're sitting in a space where they're somewhat withdrawn from reality because they failed to compromise or come to terms with something. They caused a ripple effect, a ripple effect of consequences, death, hmm. destiny. That is now sidetracked because someone failed to be reliable, loyal, mm. devoted, trustworthy. Someone blocked their emotions due to a cluttered head space. A sense of denial where someone was refusing to admit something. They were downplaying something or just playing the blame game. 
Someone was playing the blame game in a situation that now has them withdrawn now that they see they caused a ripple of faith that caused a lot of change, delays, and distractions. I feel this is someone who was once sidetracked, who is now seeing the significance of something with you. Mm. I feel this is someone who is very sidetracked when it comes to obstacles, choices. They're very inconsistent through conflict, decision. But I feel this is someone who is now reflecting. Reflecting or on a twin flame. Mm. Someone is reflecting on the feelings that were shared. Their vows, their promises. A commitment. A commitment that they now see as unfinished business. Someone sees you as a true connection, but they're also realizing how their reputation has fallen apart by a long journey of dramatic interludes or something is in despair, something is sinking because something is unresolved. There's loose ends and they're unsettled. They're wanting to mirror your energy and they're reflecting on the past, but they also know something has been a long journey. They depleted you, they exhausted you, something is fatigued. I feel this is someone who was only worried about their status instead of their character. Now they're truly affected emotionally, unstable, hmm. causing many of you to be cautious. This could also be their energy of being guarded, afraid, apprehensive, now that they realize they are stuck in limbo where there is a serious void for them being in a sense of oblivion. They feel like they're invisible because they ran, they ghosted you. Now they feel like they're a ghost to you because there is no family, there is no stability, there is no reward. I feel someone pushed this to a breaking point and now they have their fingers crossed. Someone is expecting something but they also know they don't deserve it as something has already been made final. Someone feels like you have already said your farewell and because of that, I feel in this moment, in this day and time, they're feeling that energy and they feel like they're just gonna have to accept something. Accept something they never thought they, they would have to accept. And they're starting to realize how big of a loss it truly is. There's a lot of pain when it comes to this energy reminiscing. They're withdrawn, realizing the unfinished business with you is unsettling. But there's also challenges, obstacles, and hurdles that they're having to overcome when it comes to an awakening, detachments, and unexpected company. Mm. I feel something is vital about the moment. Something is vital about today. Let's get some energy. Final card for this day, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you. Exactly. Someone is definitely feeling the distance. Someone feels the space they created with you has now become a blockage. They didn't expect this separation to go on as long as it has but they also realize that something that is unspoken is the reason something has failed to change we're gonna get a couple of cards here from this small oracle deck mm. i feel like this is someone who is truly triggered still sitting in a space where things are obscure they're going through a space of judgment cloudy judgment or someone is emotionally affected because they know they push something to the limit. Something is a final straw and they're overwhelmed. Hmm. So I feel when it comes to this situation, the universe has your back. I feel the universe has your back, but I also feel this is a situation where you won't, well, I don't want to say you won't, but I feel like you shouldn't back down. I feel whatever word or facts that you're standing on is very significant to the pain that they feel. The universe has your back. I feel you are in favor when it comes to this situation in the universe. And the Most High wants you to know that the answers will find you. 
relax. Whatever answers you seek will come your way, whether that is spiritually or mentally, there will be closure. But you can't you can't back down. I feel this is someone who will be surprised by something with you. Or they're already surprised. But whatever the case, this is someone who is needing to tap into self. And I feel there is a sense of urgency when it comes to that. I feel like this is someone who wants you to give them a fair chance. I feel something is coming your way. This could be something soon, but I feel there's something that needs to take place first. I feel something very significant is taking place today or something is taking place in the moment. Mm. Where someone is overwhelmed, trying or wanting to negotiate and come to terms with something and they're obsessing. Someone's wanting to put a stop to something or someone knows they need to stop obsessing, let something go. Someone knows they need to stop some of their careless behaviors. Someone moves out of emotion instead of fact. And I feel someone needs to stop their petty behaviors of trying to get you to react. I feel someone needs to let something go that they're trying to hold you to. But I feel this is connected to how you reacted to a situation. Someone's trying to hold you accountable for how you reacted to their disrespect. They need to let that go. Someone needs to stop obsessing. Someone's having a bad day, a bad moment. Today is just not a good day for someone where they feel temporarily closed off or something is closed due to some type of construction or someone feels emotionally unavailable today. Hmm. There's something significant about the day, the moment their current energy, where they are hoping that tomorrow is better. Someone's hoping that tomorrow is promising. However, I do see a breakthrough here. Hmm. Many of you will have to trust your intuition, have faith within this situation where you may have to expect the unexpected. For many of you, something is temporarily closed when it comes to your heart or your energy. Something bigger, better is coming, or for many of you, closure is on the way. Something that you didn't expect. Something that may be a little shocking. Hmm. I feel something is going to cause you to reevaluate something. Something is going to cause you to, to reevaluate where something is going. And I don't know if it's because someone reached out or you're starting to pick up on someone's energy, but I feel something shocking is about to take place. Mm. Day one. Mm. So either someone sees you as day one energy, but I feel like something is significant about the day. This one moment. Very soon you will see a situation resolving itself. Many of you already know the answer. Something within you is already pulling you towards the truth. But someone also knows there's not enough time. There's not enough energy when it comes to resolving something with you. I feel letting go of something that needs to be let go or hmm, over exaggerated for so long someone needs to let something go take another route when it comes to a situation with you where someone has been lost for some time lost on how to create a new path or new beginning but many of you have already chose a different path many of you could be stepping into a space where someone didn't see you growing or finding your way or finding a peace of mind or closure but as i said before a situation will resolve itself nothing needs to come from your energy but i feel what needs to come from them is the truth i feel all signs is pointing to the fact that the time is now. But the fact that someone feels you're going to say no, you won't give them a chance. Mm. They're allowing others to speak for them, or they just won't allow others to help. 
which is causing them to not take this leap of faith. Hmm. But I feel not taking a chance or not taking action will only lead nowhere to a dead end. I feel someone is not taking this leap of faith or just not taking this chance because the conditions are not right right now. Their finances are off or they just feel like whatever they're coming up with doesn't make any sense. Someone is just in a space where they're just trying to make sense of life. Someone's just trying to make it make sense. And this is why they're sitting in a space where there's a lot of delays. I feel life is about to surprise someone, whether that is you or them. Something very significant is about to happen hmm. because the pain they feel is about to make them roll this dice, take a chance. I feel something big is happening in this moment, but I feel you won't see the results of someone's change or someone's new sense of self until five months. And for some of you, this could be five years, five or six years please take it how it resonates but someone needs to pay attention mm. i feel like it's just better not knowing the answers right now to a situation you just have to allow some things to unfold but i feel for many of you the conditions of something is just not favorable someone's just not ready it's just that today Today is one of those days where a lot of things hit really hard. I feel like some things are hitting hard when it comes to sacrifices, losses, change, influences, things that they allow to change their perspective. But I also feel many of you just have to expect the unexpected. Something very shocking is about to take place for someone, whether someone is about to reach out and it's going to be shocking, or someone is going through something that is very significant when it comes to death and change. Hmm. Someone's going through a harsh awakening when it comes to those they allow to sway their energy or their trust. These dark influencers are now being seen for who they are. Hmm. Tempting seducers of alluring energy that only cause animosity within a separation. Let's get a little bit more energy here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. I put something unexpected is about to take place here. I feel something about today is about to push them to their breaking point. This is someone who is already overwhelmed, but they're already in a space where they know something has to change. I feel this is someone who is coming to terms. There is no negotiating or getting some type of reaction. Please take it how it resonates, but someone is realizing someone's going to have to come real with you. Let's get some final energy here from this deck. I feel like someone is guarded due to their challenges. We have the Nine of Wands here as well as the Devil card. Queen of Cups, Conflict here with the Three of Wands. So I feel like there's conflict through rival energy where there's a lot of tension arguments in a clash of ego something is taking place in the moment i feel someone is definitely sitting in a space where they're looking at the people around them and seeing the evil that they have attached themselves to i feel this is someone who's very guarded to the challenges that they have created but they also feel very smothered hmm. Smothered by conflict, smothered by those who are putting a key in their back. They regret a lot of things, and I feel how they treated you is one of them. As the chances they took are now the chances they never wish they made. I feel this is someone who was very excessive when it comes to something that was very materialistic. Someone got hooked on something. Someone got connected to something that draw them in it made matters worse mm. it only caused a clash of egos where something was bound to happen 
we also have the hermit card here so so this is letting me know someone is sitting in a space of self pity where there's a lot of delays and rejection i feel as this is someone who was moving around or bouncing around or sitting in a space where there is a lot of conflict battles and arguments this could be between them and another spouse or a partner or person or family please take it how it resonates but someone is now feeling smothered by the fact that they couldn't be loyal they were shallow very manipulative when it comes to affairs of the heart someone was trying to create a illusion through confusion but now someone's secrets is holding them back i feel here with the knight of cups energy as well as the three of swords someone's going through their own heartbreak through betrayals bad health for some of you someone is truly unhappy I feel there's a sense of disappointment here with the Nine of Cups energy. They feel like the offer that they would like to give you won't be well received because of their greed. King of Pentacles being materialistic, tapping into a group of people or a false environment that only led them astray because now all they can think about is how they abandoned you and made the wrong choice. Here with the Two of Swords energy, someone was blinded by some type of confusion. They abandoned something, they withdrew their energy, and I feel this is now very emotional for them. Here with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. They regret not taking your offer. They regret not making something clear, because today, it's a hard day. Someone was trying to get away with something strategically, and they were even trying to hold something over your head here with the hangman energy. But now they're stuck and bound to something because they didn't step into the leadership role. There was no celebration within a home, just disaster and tower moments. I feel this is someone who is feeling trapped, hopeless paralyzed by their own reckless ways or arrogance here with the knight of wands they were only thinking of themselves now this is someone who is trying to accept it all five of cups sitting in a sense of sorrow someone knows they have blocked their happiness when it comes to the ten of cups energy where there is separation conflict and it's disharmony i feel this is someone who is unhappy within a home unhappy within an environment and they are trying their best to accept something they're trying to accept the loss. They're trying to accept the divide they created. But they still see you as a close bond, a true love. Someone's thinking about the mutual respect that wasn't given. Someone knows they failed you in a big way. Now they're struggling, going through hardship here with the five of pentacles energy in the reverse. Someone is going through hardship and struggle because of how they chose to abandon something, someone feels like an outcast. I feel this is someone who is isolated, going through setbacks. They're very impatient, but I feel it's due to their illusion and choices. Something is just not going their way. We also have the chariot energy here where someone is misdirected because of conflict. There's a dispute here because of some type of indecision, wishful thinking, but I feel someone is trying to survive something that they started. Someone could also be relapsing here with these 10 of swords energy. Please take it how it resonates. This doesn't have to be a relapse. This could be someone's fears. Someone knows that something is coming their way and there is nothing they can do about it. As I said before, today is just a, a really hard day. They're starting to see something when it comes to their world being turned apart or flipped upside down, there's a lot of restrictions. Someone feels limited by the tower moments they created because they are now seeing how traumatic it truly is. I feel there's upheavals and destruction secrets that are now being revealed and someone is feeling like a fool. Someone is feeling like a fool and feeling judged. There's a lot of bad news here for a page of swords energy where they're paranoid. Hmm. There's sarcastic energy here as well as malicious energy where someone is diligent hmm. when it comes to negative energy and despair. Someone knows they got nothing out of hurting you. 
there's a lack of achievement, a failure. Someone knows there's a sense of defeat, but they're just now recognizing it here with the Six of Wands. Someone knows how they treated you is the reason they're blocked and delayed. Whether that is blocked and delayed from your energy or just blocked and delayed from the satisfactions of life. But I feel someone is definitely reaping what they have sown when it comes to disruption, disputes, when it comes to family, close bonds, debts. There's a fleeting success because of the tower moments they created. I feel you standing your ground is causing them to sit in a space of self Pity. But I feel the worry and the energy that they are bringing here is a sense of anxiety and guilt, insomnia. Someone can't sleep because of the depression. Someone's definitely being pushed to a breaking point due to a scandal, a breakdown, and a situation where there's malicious gossip, there's upheavals and destruction. Something is definitely going on, but something is about to become even bigger. I feel someone is sitting in a space of sadness in this very moment, but someone is sitting in this space because someone doesn't realize something even bigger is about to come their way. Mm. Mm. Justice and karma. Wow. Okay. Justice and karma here. Someone being accountable. This is why they can't sleep. They regret how they handled something there's no peace there's no resolution there's no compromise and they regret it i feel this is someone who is very rebellious higher front energy here and they couldn't be flexible they were trying to do something out of a space of being cruel or overbearing and for some of you this could have been a, out of punishment because someone was too lazy or immature to step up to your energy they were procrastinating now there's poor prospects and someone is going through a harsh ending here with the death card. I feel this is someone who is avoiding change due to negative cycles. Someone is withdrawn, going through destruction, confusion, hostility around them. Someone is knowing that they lost but still not wanting to feel like a failure. Someone knows that they need to be honest with you or they will continue to be clear from your energy or your light. But I feel there are some things that need to be done when it comes to a community or gossip. Hmm. There's a, a excessive isolation when it comes to someone because of a scandal. Hmm. I feel like this card is really important when it comes to a separation. Something is very significant. Something is significant when it comes to someone who now feels like a fool. I, th I feel like they're going through a lot of setbacks and their world has been torn apart because of something they refused. Something they refused when it comes to affairs of the heart, a home, a celebration, because now they're feeling strapped down, bound for being stingy with you. Someone else say you were a fool and making a bad investment because they feel like what they're going through will be hard to survive. Yet I feel this moment of regret is the least of their worries at this time. Let's get one more card here. So someone is definitely going through a lot of setbacks and they're thinking about what they have versus what they used to have with you. I feel there is no success or achievement and there's very little happiness because they didn't get what they thought they would, especially when it comes to love. Someone is being judged very harshly. I feel this is someone who is confused by your detachment. Hmm. But I also feel you have to take a step back or retreat in some way because of an argument or their choice of words with you. Someone made a very bad choice when it comes to affairs of the heart. Mm. Someone made a bad choice when it comes to love. Now they're being judged for their failure to understand or even learn. I feel like there's a lot of setbacks within this situation where there's unfinished work, unfinished business when it comes to being a fool or being attached to energies that are causing them to look foolish, not prepared 
for what's to come. So is sitting in a space of worry and regret. Today is just not their day. For many of you, just someone who was very curious about a situation on the outside looking in. And it looks like they made a deal. Hmm. I feel like someone either made a deal or someone chose to connect themselves to something or someone they really didn't know much about. But I feel like this is someone who was curious enough, curious enough to bind themselves or tie themselves to something that they didn't fully understand or know anything about. But I feel this is someone who invested the time, they invested the work, and now they are looking at something through a different perspective. I feel like today of all days, everything is starting to hit different. Acknowledgement, the memories, the pain, mm. the love that wasn't given. Someone feels they are cursed for not standing in their position. I feel this is someone who did something very reckless with you through emotion here with the Nine of Cups energy. Someone did something almost in, so impulsive where it seems where they were just kind of running around with the head cut off. Just not making decisions from a space of clarity. Now someone's trying to hold on to what they feel they have left. And trust me, it's not much. Someone regrets putting you in this energy of protecting self. Someone is now seeing a different side of you. So in this card, one side is pleasant and the other side is showing a different side that someone didn't know was there or did never seen within you. I feel there was brief moments of someone understanding that you are nothing to play with, but I feel something is fully understood. Someone regrets putting you in this energy. If you look closely, I don't think anyone would play with that other side as well. Someone knows that you are the star. But they also know that you're tired of waiting. Emotionally done. And then if someone feels like they have to deal with the wreckage that they have created. Or someone is trying to find their way out of this. But it's still coming up with nothing. Still coming up with the short end of the stick when it comes to love. Someone has some very old ways or old habits that are keeping them from resolving some things. For some of you, this could also be you setting boundaries. Someone feels like they can't have access to you or they'll never receive access. Someone feels like they be, they're being judged for the chaos they created, the deal that they invested in. Someone chose convenience over love, over connection, and they feel like you won't forget it. Someone feels like you're always going to hold them to something, but I also feel there could be a message. Someone's getting a message here. I don't feel this is your energy. This could be your energy. I could be wrong, but I feel this is your, wow, your energy where there is a sense of wish fulfillment, but I feel when it comes to their energy, they're getting bad news. I feel they could be getting a message or something is coming through from a third party. But whatever this is, they don't like what they hear. They don't like what they see. They don't like what they feel. And whoever this is that is coming in to relay this message doesn't have the right type of energy. Hmm. Hangman is coming out in the reverse. Someone regrets the fact that they invested in something. They regret sharing something they know they should have shared with you. This is why they feel like you won't let something go. They did this work for nothing. They did all of this for nothing because this tower moment is huge. It's big. It caused a lot of chaos within a home or it caused someone to destroy something through reckless activity that cannot be undone. Someone gave someone else what they promised to give to you. Now someone doesn't want to face the music. Someone doesn't 
want to feel that energy of letting others down, disappointing everyone, or not standing up for self or anyone else. Someone is stuck in a phase or stuck in a moment of regret, acknowledgement, and acceptance. I feel here with the Tower Moment energy today or this moment is just a small portion of what's to come. I feel a lot of things that are about to be revealed here with the Three of Swords energy. Mm. But someone just doesn't want to face what they know is already going to come their way. But this message, something that is said to them or a text or something that is revealed to them is going to sh send shock waves through something. There will be a ripple effect where someone is realizing something through some very cold or harsh eyes. Whatever they were curious about here is being seen for what it is. Hmm. So not only are someone finally seeing you for who you are, things are being exposed about you and the people they chose over you. This could also be a lifestyle where someone is just for the streets and just wanting to bounce around from flower to flower or just going through milestones where they're just trying to have their way. But I feel the chariot being in the reverse. Something has been put to a halt. Something is now stuck, parked, not moving. And someone is feeling like a fool because of it. Someone's feeling like a fool and everyone's watching them take a, a deep plunge. I feel for many of you, people are watching them in pain because they wanted the best for this energy. And they made a very bad decision or a lot of toxic choices that led them up to this but someone is going to have to read what they have sown because they allow something to get out of control now a lot of people are watching and waiting for something to feed their sense of seeing the drama or seeing the fallout a lot of these energies don't mean them well but i feel things falling out of place or something going out of balance or getting out of control will cause someone to reject an offer this rejection of an offer will put someone in harm's way. Someone will refuse something, whether it is this is an action or someone refusing an offer they should have taken. But uh, someone knows this offer. There's a serve them well, or they're just not in a place to kiss any butts or something. Whatever this reason is, it's unknown and it varies. But them rejecting something puts them in harm's way. This is connected to a message or someone telling them something. And it's also connected to a tower moment. They wish they should have paid attention to what they were drawing into. Or what they were drawing into their energy. Because this is a situation they're going to want to dig themselves out of. In fact, I feel this is someone who is truly trying their best to dig themselves out of a hole where something is significant about a moment or a present day where an event, a smell, or a moment reminds someone of you. Mm. But instead of a feeling of bliss, all the special moments that should be popping up in their head, someone is overwhelmed and filled with a sense of regret. But now that they feel like you're not backing down or giving up, they're starting to feel overwhelmed by harassing thoughts of loss as they realize what they could have had with you is now a thing of the past. Someone is crushed, wanting to take themselves out of a situation they regret not taking a look or being more vocal, being more aware of what they were drawing in. Hmm. Someone should have paid more attention to what they invested in. Now, the fact that they are refusing to eat someone's food or stroke the ego of others is starting some tension or conflict through petty actions of someone who is hell-bent on putting them in their place. I feel someone is hell-bent on putting them in their place, and I feel them refusing an offer is setting something off where someone is just not safe. Someone is not safe in an environment that they have invested in or someone is having a hard moment of reflection or acceptance 
where the damage they have caused. I feel this is someone who is not protected in a current situation. They're not safe. But the fact that they are hunted by a past or are hunted by their memories is causing someone to see themselves for who and what they truly are. And to be honest about it, someone is just not, someone is not really recognizing the person they see in the mirror. As someone knows that they have changed, they just don't know how to show everyone else they desire the change. Someone knows that no one is going to invest the way they used to. A lot of things have changed about their options, their resources. And for some of you, they really don't have the choices they think they have. But I feel they will be in a sense of deep reflection, and that will come soon. But as I said before, this is something that won't be present or hmm, brought to your attention until five months from now. And for some of you, this could be many years. Hmm. But whatever this is, someone is wanting to run from this, but it's going to take some time. Someone is wanting to run from this, but someone is going to realize they can't run from their secrets. they trapped. So they're going to have to come up with something new. Let's get one more card here from this deck. Someone is going to have to come up with something new as they now see they may never recover from this. They may never dig themselves out of this. This is definitely a terrifying situation where someone is in over their head. Someone didn't see what was coming their way until it was too late. Mm. Now they're in a space where they feel like something will never be recovered or attainable because they took something too far. And now with the Ten of Cups in the reverse, someone is having a sense of defeat, regret, remorse. Nothing is going their way. Someone is completely in a space where they're not happy, but they also feel there's nothing they can do about it. All because of their foolish ways and what they allow in a situation. This is someone who feels like they destroyed something as in this moment, something marks something very significant that they not only have to accept, but also understand. Hmm. Someone is in a space where they may have to understand that they may never find what they're looking for. But most importantly, they'll never find another like you. Because I feel in this moment, they're accepting the sad truth of a very dark life. I feel this is someone who had to come to a decision here with the Two of Swords energy. Someone had to see a truth that they have refused to see for quite a while, but as I said before, someone is hell bent on putting them in their place or putting them in a space where they feel more vulnerable. And things just doesn't feel as bright as it used to when they refuse to acknowledge the pain and the hurt they cause me along the way. Yet I sense the pain they cause is just starting to hit a little different because you're the one person they were never supposed to lose. And now you're the one person they may never forget. Let's get some final energy here, confirmation here from this deck. This will be the last day. I want to thank you guys for sticking around for a lot one of my longer readings. Let's get some final energy here, Holy Spirit. Let me suggest. Someone knows they left you waiting. Someone knows that they are a fool. But I also feel there are some things that they feel they couldn't let go of. Or some things they couldn't talk about because they have yet to understand it or heal from it themselves. I feel this is someone who is feeling foolish for the chaos and destruction they made in a home. As well as the investments they made. This is a very foolish energy. They regret 
standing side by side with the enemy or giving in to something that caused you to tap into your intuition. For many of you, this is someone who feels you have enough evidence to put them down or prove a point when it comes to something that they took for granted. I feel someone in their energy is also proving you right as well. This is connected to a version of the heart and love. Someone created a lot of heartbreak here with the three of swords energy. This is someone who pretended to be innocent. This is someone they collaborated with. I feel there is a lot of evidence or something being revealed when it comes to secrets. And I feel someone is wanting to let go of something intentionally. For many of you, as I said before, someone is wanting to run from something and it's starting to become obvious that they're thinking about you the Empress energy. Yeah, someone's definitely thinking, wondering, thinking about the possibilities, but also knowing they won't be able to give you the answers you deserve. Someone knows they caused a lot of damage here. A lot of damage that put you in tower energy. I feel someone thinks about you all the damage they cause through words and false actions that put you in a position to stand up or stand your ground. But I feel this is a side of you that this energy has yet to ever encounter or see. And they regret putting you in a space where you had no choice. Now all they can think about is home. Or this is someone who is just thinking about putting the past behind you. Someone is wanting to come your way. Someone is thinking about how they were once your star. And they're also thinking about how you still hold their heart. Someone knows that you hold their heart. They're just wanting to not be judged for drinking a Kool-Aid. Someone is... Not wanting to be judged for making light of a very serious situation because someone is now realizing how serious something really is. But I feel for a very long time, this is someone who just wouldn't take accountability for anything. This is someone who was sitting in a night of source energy, pretending like the devil made them do it. Refusing to be accountable for their actions they now see it was the wrong way to go because now you're protecting everything you have with all you have the higher front energy someone knows that you know more than you're willing to speak of and this is another reason why they're confined mental prison physical prison please take it how it resonates but someone feels like they are behind the scenes or not able to Get the access they once had with you. All because of their actions. And their false ways. Something had to end. I feel this is someone who thinks about how they manipulated or played the magician. Because it only caused something to create a deeper failure. Someone only fell deeper down this false narrative. This false sense of self. And now all they can do is think, wonder what something could have been because of how they chose to handle you. As the way you have left has not only affected their mind, but also their soul. Hmm. And they regret not being more vulnerable, supportive, and loving with you. As they can no longer find the love and support you once gave. As they also realize in this moment, someone like you only comes once in a lifetime.